I will use the ritual known as the Bane of All Evil to relieve this place of its karma. You must remain calm. Do not allow yourself to be affected by the lingering wrath of bygone gods. Disappear! by such a name. So he is a fraud! Well, we'll continue this discussion later. You should focus on your battle for now. Ha! <laughs> 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 
It is good that we came here. An unusual number of living things had fallen under infernal influence. Had we not arrived in good time, the consequences would have been unthinkable. Now, this Star Snatcher you speak of, what is the situation? Ooh, Paimon will tell you! An Adeptus who grants wishes. To think that people could be so easily deceived by such blatant lies. As an Adeptus, do you have the power to grant wishes, Yao? The Liyue of yesteryear would never ask the Adepti for boons unearned. Millennia ago, the ancestral people of Liyue asked for nothing more than the strength to defend the land they called their home. who grants people's wishes is probably more appealing to people nowadays. However feeble people nowadays may be, they are not my concern. I concern myself only with following Rex Lapis's original decree. Oops, Hyman spoke without thinking again. Oh, uh, one more thing? That fake Adeptus has a sigil of permission. It's what he uses to exercise demons. Wait, truly? <laughs> Fool. Exercising demons without exterminating them. It is no wonder they have been congregating here. If this continues, things may spiral out of even my control. We must confiscate his sigil of permission. Great minds think alike! Paimon agrees. We've got to show that trickster what you get for trying to fool us! And it just so happens that we've got a real Adeptus with us, too! If Xiao were to teach Star Snatcher a lesson, you can bet he'll never dare to pose as an Adeptus ever again! No. I only slay demons. I do not kill mortals. Who said anything about killing him? <laughs> it would certainly benefit Liyue if we could convince him to cease his wicked ways. I possess an art called Dream Trawler. It is normally used to separate the soul from the body, that one might cultivate oneself in a waking dream. But it can also be used to call forth the spirits of others. Whoa! Now that's a real adept eye art for ya! A ritual must be performed for this art to be used. Assist me in gathering a few items. A sensor, seven lamps, and something to reduce the temperature. Reduce the temperature? Oh, some mist flowers will probably do, right? But as for the sensor and the seven lamps... Hmm... Probably not the kinds of things we're gonna just stumble across in the wild. Do you know of the two Yaksha statues that stand guard beside a merchant road on the southern face of Mount Tianhong? The ancestors of the people of Liyue built shrines there to honor the Yakshas. You should still be able to find some ceremonial items there. Once you have found them, meet me at the Yaksha statues after nightfall, and I will teach you how to use this art.
The spirit soars the mountains high, while the body rests as the world goes by. Um, sorry to interrupt you, but... Well, I'll be. Isn't that something? A pair walk into a shrine, neither to seek nor worship gods or adepti, but to pilfer the tools of worship for their own ends. <laughs> rude to ask, but we just need them for a short while. Honest! For the dream trawler ritual, I trust. <gasps> How'd you know that? I have been in the shrine for far longer than you would expect. Perhaps as a reward for my faithfulness, I have been endowed with some understanding of the Adepti Arts. Wow. Paimon's never heard of that happening before. Ah, uh, it matters not. Take what you need. It is a fortuitous thing that these items may be of service to you. They serve little purpose here, in any case. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing that you need concern yourself with. Please, take what you wish. As run down as the shrine. So next, we just need to grab the seven star lamps, right? The sooner we start, the sooner we'll be done. Once you had acquired what you came for, you would forget about me and simply be on your way. Ah, it's that guy's voice! Hello? W where are you? My physical form ceased to exist over a thousand years ago. What you witnessed earlier was an illusion, created by the Adepti art known as Mortal Lingering. Now that you have taken the seven star lamps and sensor used in the mortal lingering ritual, my form is no longer visible to you. I was once a junior in the Order of the Yakshas, bestowed with the name Pervases by Rex Lapis himself. Yet my strength failed, and I was slain in battle. Today is the anniversary of my death. My last wish was to see a modern Liyue, and so I took the liberty of performing this ritual here. That aside, you were sent here by the Conqueror of Demons, were you not? So, you two know each other then? I sense his aura upon you. That and the heavy burden of his karma. <sighs> Even after all these millennia, he still must endure such tremendous suffering. I am truly ashamed. Don't say that, Pervases. You sacrificed your life for Liyue, didn't you? Life is a precious thing, yes. 
When I think of the burden that the Conqueror of Demons must bear, death seems to me to have been the easy way out. A selfish indulgence, even. Hervaces. <laughs> I apologize. Birthdays are joyful occasions. But by the same token, it is hard not to be melancholy on the anniversary of one's death. The mortal lingering will not last much longer. Take care, you two. And please pass on my regards to the Conqueror of Demons. <sighs> if only I could taste some authentic grilled ticker fish once more. By wave and storm, I hunt for fish. By wind and snow, I slay evil. Huh? Looks like he's gone then. Paimon really hopes that at least someone will remember Pervasi's the Yaksha. We should get going. But let's come back here and make an offering sometime. Yeah.